First of all, I would like to thank Pastor Terry Saipani and Fanetua Anima Saipani for this opportunity, for entrusting me to bring forth an encouragement for our children, and I pray that our parents will be blessed as well. I would like to thank the Sunday School Committee for their love and support. Today I will be using the White Sunday theme as my topic, and that is working together with a humble heart. Two parts I want to highlight for us today to understand more about our topic are one, working together, and two, humble heart. So in my tototusi, ile lua koronito, sfulu tolu, fai pu sfulu malatasi. Lua koronito, sfulu tolu, fai pu sfulu malatasi. If you can read the fasa more, and I will read the English version for us today. chapter 13 verse 11. I will be reading from the NIV version. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. So it's in my time to see the Momo Coronito, Momo Fayo Pusifuru. Momo Coronito, Momo Fayo Pusifuru. Oh, Lord, to see you along my arm, Yeah. 
1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. May God bless the reading for today. First of all, what does work mean? Work is not a punishment like some of us feel sometimes. We wake up in the morning and we tell ourselves we don't want to go to work, but if we do, we find a way to escape early. <laughs> but work has dignity. What does that mean? Work is something that God does. Like the words of the song, even when we don't see it, even when we don't feel it, God is still working. Amen. And don't forget the book of Genesis, how God created the heavens and the earth. God created us to work. When God created Adam and Eve, he gave them work to do in the Garden of Eden. Yep. Work is a beautiful thing, but I won't be speaking on our individual occupations or our daily jobs. For example, cleaning, cooking, jumping off the coast to school, and other errands we do on a daily basis. But today, I want to speak on your work for God. Amen. How are you serving God? Serving God is not only on a Sunday. Serving God is a lifestyle. Christian characteristics is work in itself. Yep. Working in unity, working to forgive, working to be humble. Jesus didn't say it was going to be easy, but he said that the Father was going to send help, and his name is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Serving God is not a nine to five job. Serving God is your calling. That's good. See, we must understand our calling. We don't choose our calling, God gifted us our calling. When we start to compare our works and calling and the work of God, then the vision comes. Unity is something that you know when it's present and you know when it's absent. Yeah. When there is unity, everything works smoothly and more gets accomplished. Absolutely. When there is division the and lack of unity, all you have is confusion. That's right. Amen. Yeah. I believe where there is unity, the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit will be present and operating. Yes. The Bible says God commands his blessings where there is unity. Amen. The Holy Spirit came down on the day of Pentecost when the believers were in one mind and accord. If we want God to empower us and bless us, there must be unity in the church. That's right. Um, I'd like to call up on my helpers. Falaunga fafa yopuivo, esili ona le. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9 Two people are better off than one for they help each other succeed. Ina, if you can please lift the table on your own. <laughs> Isa, if you can please help me. And there you have it. Two is better than one. Just give a clap for our volunteers. <laughs> when there is more hands, the load becomes easy. Amen. A house divided cannot stand. It cannot last. God wants his church to have unity, not division. That's right. One last thing to close part one of our encouragement is hindrances to unity. One, unforgiveness. The unwillingness to forgive someone who has wronged you hinders unity. When we fail to forgive, our hearts never have a clear direction when the church comes together in unity. And two, jealousy. When we get jealous of our brothers and sisters calling, we will bring bitterness to our hearts and stop us from working together to build the kingdom of God. Ephesians 4 verse 3 says this, 
Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. God has a purpose for everyone in the church, and everyone is needed in the church. Absolutely. I need you, and you need me. Yes. Sebastiano, have you heard all? Amen. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit Rather in humility Value others above yourselves James 4 verse 10 Humble yourselves before the Lord and He will lift you up. God's favor is always on the humble. Moses was a humble man. That's <laughs> right. According to our main scripture, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10, there should be no division among us. We need to be perfectly united in mind and thought. It is very hard for us to work together to be united if we are not humble. That's right. God knows we make mistakes and we fall short of His glory, but God's plan is for us to do good. It takes strength to admit we went wrong. God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Yeah. God has called us to divine fellowship, and that fellowship is one of the most powerful tools to a lost and dying world. Mm. If we don't protect it, strive for it, and do everything we can to promote it, we open the gate to the enemy. The enemy will attack and cause ineffectiveness and destruction in the church. I don't know where you are right now with your spiritual life, but every body has a part to play and manage to. Yes. Be grateful for where God has placed you right this season. Stay faithful no matter how small or big of an assignment God has assigned you to deliver. Amen. Church shall be a place where we lift one another up and help each other through life. We are to rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. If we want God to extend grace and mercy to the church, we, the body of Christ, must come together and work together to build the kingdom of God with a humble heart. It's good. Forgive me if I have said anything wrong. This is the rest of our program today. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. 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 Am